The Forecasting Our Future report, an update to concerns we told you about last night about mosquito-borne illnesses in Maine. Bonnie Bishop looked into how long mosquito season could last this fall. She spoke with experts about how different this season could be compared to years past. Experts say mosquito season winds down with the first hard frost. A frost indicates when moisture in the atmosphere cools and condenses out onto different plants and leaves without a ground freeze. But over time, experts say it's happening later. Then we can potentially see mosquito activity further and further into the fall. And with the pathogens kind of building up within the mosquito population. Griffin Dill is a tech lab coordinator at the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. And that certainly increases the threat uh, that some of these pathogens will spill over into, into humans at, a, at a, a, a greater rate. Experts say the delay is caused by climate change. Sean Burkell is the Maine State Climatologist. He says we're seeing warmer weather earlier in the spring and later in the fall. Most of the um, lengthening of the warm season has occurred in late summer into fall, and that links into um, how we've been seeing more years with very late first frost. If we look at the average in, with the warming climate since 1950, the average frost date has, um, has been pushed back by on the order of a week and a half. With the frost dates delaying over time, Mosquito populations can thrive for longer and continue to spread illnesses like triple E and West Nile virus. Now, there are many ways to enjoy the outdoors while still protecting yourself from mosquitoes as we wait for that first hard frost and for mosquito season to die down. Experts recommend wearing long sleeves and long pants like I am and to use bug spray. The Maine CDC says mosquito surveillance reports, including all positive results, are updated weekly at this website. For Maine's total coverage, I'm Bonnie Bishop.